I mean, one of the things he spoke to me is to step back. When, just, just think about it, when you're too close to something, when you're too close to something, like you're trying to read something on the wall, if you're too close to the wall, the thing that you must do into in order to, to read the words or the letters of what's being said is to step back. Because when you step, step back, your eyes will be able to focus. And, and that's one of the things that uh, that's happened to me. In me stepping back, God has caused me to see certain things, caused me to see um, um, certain behaviors, certain attitudes, what's real, what's fake, what's phony, what's right. And God is allowing me to see. See, see, because when you're in something, it's sometimes it's hard to really see what's going on, but sometimes you got to stop. Sometimes you got to step back. Sometimes you got to step back to really see what's happening and really see who what's for you and what's against you. That's what it comes down to because there's many voices. There are many voices. There's many influences. And see, Jesus said, my sheep know my voice, but a the strength they won't follow. So there's going to come a voice that's disguised as a shepherd, as Jesus, as something that you, that's attracted to you that you love and, and that's going to grab you. But you must realize and understand, is it God or is it not? What is it that's trying to draw me? What is it that's trying to pull me? Is what's trying to pull me trying to destroy me? Or is what's pulling me trying to bring me closer to him, closer to God, to open my eyes up for positive, for, for positive results? And so this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning of something great that God has for you, the believer. And it starts with you stepping back. You got to step back. You got to step back and assess. You got to step back and see. You got to step back and, and notice the scripture says in, in Jeremiah 6 and 16, stand ye in way and see and ask for the old past. But God, would you stand there and look? Look and see what's going on. Look what's happening. See what's developing and ask for the old pathway. Because in that old pathway, what you've been crying for, what you've been listening and looking for is rest. You will get that rest in your soul. You will get that rest in your heart. You will get that rest in your pathway. But you must stand away and look and make that choice, make that choice, make that choice. And so the word, the word is step back. Step back. God wants you to step back and, and allow what's before you to develop. Allow what's before you to talk to you, to see whether it's for you or against you. And so this is what God is doing. God is keening up the believer's eyes. He's developing the eyes of the believer more that you can be able to see God more and hear him more. And when you're able to hear him more, the scripture says, when you submit yourself unto God and in you submit yourself to God, it's going to give you the power and the ability to resist that devil, resist that demon, and he will flee. In the mighty name of Jesus.